Hello ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to do a quick video on the MX Player Pro update version 1.15.4. Um, I don't know if you've downloaded this version or not, it's pretty new, so I know a lot of people don't want to update if they have something that's working. So if you have whatever version it is that you have and it's working, and you don't really want to update, it's not needed unless you're having issues. Um, then I would say that you might want to consider getting this version. Um, anyway, they've enabled uh, MX Share. Basically, you can send or receive files, video files, audio files from different devices through this. It's going to ask you to uh, enable your Wi Fi and your Bluetooth anytime you try to send a file. And once you select your file, it's going to scan for other devices locally on the same network. Uh, to be able to send or receive that file. Um, I want to get into the settings a bit. Um, what I've done is I've already set up everything that you need to optimize your MX Player Pro. Uh, uh, as some people may have noticed, some links that you may play, <clears throat> depending on the app that you're using to stream your content with and you're using MX player or any other player you might come across the file that has no audio so basically what that means is it doesn't have the codec required to play whatever format the audio was in so that's what this fixes okay I already have everything saved into an XML file which I'll put a link in the description to download that file and I'm going to show you how to import that as well. I'm also going to put a link in the description to a video that shows the basic setup to do this yourself if you want to follow along and do this yourself. Okay to import the file after you download it you're going to go to general and you're going to scroll all the way down to import. And once you get to import you're going to find your file click OK, it's going to restart for the changes to take effect. So just give it a second, the app will restart, and your settings will be saved from the XML file. Alright, that's it. Hope this helps.